casually sets pillow where it can be seen by all. Hey guys, it's Riley and welcome to my channel on this lovely Tuesday. This Tuesday is not going to be a trans education video and that's because it is a very special time in my life right now which I will get to at the end of the video so you'll have to stay tuned for that. But I thought today I would give you guys some facts about me. I think you've learned a lot from me from the time that you're watching unless this is the first video of mine that you're watching. If that's the case, hi, my name's Riley. Leave a comment telling me your name. But I just got bored and decided to suffer through the writing of 50 things and facts about myself. So that's what I'm going to sit here and talk to you guys about today. It is the 50 facts about me. One, my favorite color is green. My vlogging camera doesn't have a viewfinder, so I never know if I'm in or out of frame. My all-time favorite movie, maybe contrary to a video I posted a while back, is Ghostbusters. I got to see Theo Katzman and Darren Criss perform for free on June 13th, 2013. I own a signed copy of The Amazing Book Is Not On Fire. One of my goals for the somewhat near future is to move out and not live slash depend on my parents. And another goal after I get that settled out is to move to LA. The camera that I'm shooting this video on right now is a Canon Rebel T5i. I have found a recent obsession with bandanas and wearing them different ways. Thank you, Chris Clemens. That's how I was introduced to this and I love it. My car is always a mess, but my room is always spotless. I've heard from a lot of people that YouTube and the angles that I use in some of my videos makes my room look like a square, but it's actually like a long rectangle. <laughs> I usually make a favorites video every month, but I have been slacking recently, so a new one is coming beginning of next month for the last three months because I've been really bad about it, don't kill me. Fun little fact here that's actually not on my list, my lighting situation is better with the windows open, horrible in general. I have a side channel where I post anything from singing to vlogs to literally whatever I want. I just recently quit the grocery store I was working at after working there for six months. <laughs> the iMac that I have in my room that you may see on my social media is actually 11 years old and doesn't run very well. Probably 99% of the time I have an alarm set, I'm gonna sleep through the alarm. Shane Dawson is the first ever YouTuber I watched. I make a quarter playlist for my music on my Apple Music as inspired by Jack Baran or That's So Jack and I think I put them on my Spotify. I'm not sure. If you check and they're not there, come back, leave a comment, tweet me, tell me, I'll get on that. You can't really tell from camera things, but my eyes are blue. I get incredibly uncomfortable with my natural hair color, which is actually this color right here. It's fine when it's my sides and the rest is dyed, but I hate my natural hair color. I have not taken a bath since I was a kid that did not consist of either bubble bath or a bath bomb. I really love reading, even though I don't do it that often anymore. I came out as some type of queer when I was in like elementary school, and I kind of realized I was trans and everything and tried to start coming out when I was 11. I've been on testosterone for almost a year and eight months. I have had long and extensive battles with mental illness, which has resulted in five inpatient hospitalizations. One thing that I try to do frequently is recite affirmations in my head and to myself just to make sure that I'm on the right track. I've been trying to lose weight for roughly three years and it's only just now starting to work. I might be getting top surgery soon. I just got my consultation date. It's in August. I'm a little bit pumped. My favorite dessert is strawberry shortcake. I'll also eat literally any vegetable. Like, I'm not picky. As a child, I was severely prone to ear infections, and I got them at least once a month. Like, it was it was ridiculous, and that happened for like three or four years. My childhood best friend was actually my dog named Sadie, and we had to put her down back in December. I can't wear 3D glasses because of my normal glasses, and I don't have or wear contacts, and I don't have a little cook clip on things and like the glasses like that they give you don't fit over mine. I'm virtually religious about catching up on my YouTube subscriptions. I actually made my first Tumblr when I was 13 like it says you have to be in the terms and conditions. If I could literally do this without getting more obese than I am, I would eat McDonald's every day. Like I don't care what anybody else thinks, I don't care what anybody else says, it's freaking delicious. Give me that, give me that McDouble, add Mac sauce, 
large fry, give it to me. I've played guitar for about five years and everything I know is stuff that I taught myself. I don't really drink pop, only coffee, tea, and water. And that also stems off because I would much rather eat my calories than drink them. 99% of the time in my Snapchat story, I refuse to reveal the brand of a product I'm using because they're not paying me. <laughs> I've had my haircut for about two years and getting the undercut was probably the best decision I've ever made in my life, like honestly. Speaking of hair, I cannot stand when my sides are long. Like this, this is too long. This is too long for me. I can grab onto it like it's way too long. I have a personal all-time favorite music playlist that dates back to early middle school. For a good portion of my life so far, and still sometimes now, I am stuck in my emo phase. I just shut those blinds and it honestly didn't help the lighting at all. I'm sorry. Coming up with these facts took so long. Oh my god. <laughs> I absolutely despise when you can't reblog posts from people's desktop themes on Tumblr. My favorite colors to paint my nails are a mint green and this silver that I have on right now. After I got my hair stripped from purple, it kinda turned mint green on its own without re-dyeing it. And last but not least, number 50. I don't know if y'all kept count. I'm not gonna go through and like put numbers on all of them because that's too much. That would take too long. But here is the last fact, number 50. The day that I'm uploading this video is only two days after my official one year anniversary of my first video ever on this channel. So that means I've had this channel and I've been growing my platform and I made my first ever video here one year ago two days ago basically and I think that's incredible. I feel like we are kind of like a little itty bitty family. All of you guys who are subscribed to my channel have made this possible and it like makes me so happy because it's you guys who keep me going and I think it's me who keeps some of you going. I don't know, I don't want to seem like outwardly weird about that. I just want to express how absolutely incredibly grateful I am for y'all sticking around, for y'all supporting me and helping me get through this one year of this video being up. That's absolutely insane. One year I have been on this channel and it seems like I just started it yesterday and then other times it seems like I've been doing it for years but it just means so much to me that all of you have stuck around and that all of you have supported me and I wanted to thank you so much for doing that because it honestly means everything to me. And that's all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up and comment down below how long have you been watching my channel. Just because it's my one year I want to see how many of you have been with me from the very beginning. Just give me a rough time frame. If this is your first video you're watching of mine, just say hi down there. I would love to interact and read some of those comments, respond to some of those comments. It'll be a fun time. If you want to follow me elsewhere, you can follow me on all of my social media, which is at the Riley Kyle. The links to everything that I have will be below, or if you don't want to click a link, just search me on whatever social media that is, The Riley Kyle. Odds are I'll pop up if I have it, so there you go. That's all I have for you. I love you guys, and I will see you on Thursday, okay? Bye.